Oh, welcome back to all our viewers. So this match here. Barry Hawkins broke down at a vital junction. Just needed one colour to secure the frame. So that's a work for one more opportunity, which has just come here. There are 67 points remaining on the table, and Barry has a lead of 64, so well, surely he'll go on and win this frame. And he does need very high value colours from here, Darren. Yep. Yeah. Can you believe the shot we just played there? He snuck it ahead into the right centre, perfect on the black. Can't imagine for a minute he could clear up and pinch this frame. With this visit, if he did, what a body blow! He lost Eight. the second frame. Barry Hawkins, that is. From it looked like a Nine. winning position, and all of a sudden, it looks like he's going to get back on the scoreboard. And Ronnie O'Sullivan is still there, but that one has gone slightly awry. Sixteen. And he gets through to this red. Here is the corner pocket. He can afford 17. to take a blue as long as he comes and takes two blacks. Well, you would say now, Dominic, if he gets eye on these reds to get back for the black, the only awkward ball is now going to be the yellow. What a steal this would be. 22. Well, this would be utterly heartbreaking for Harry Hawkins. He's already made some 23. fantastic clearances to steal the odd frame from Barry Hawkins. This would be the best. He's a little bit straighter on this black than he'd have liked. He had a wry smile to himself. Ah, he's played a clever shot there. He's played this leave himself this red in the yellow pocket. I think he's landed on this absolutely perfect. A deep screw shot again. In it goes. Looks like he's straight on the black. If he'd had an angle on this black, I think we'd have seen him try to move the yellow down the cushion. So it's going to be another deep screw. Lots of bottom on the cue ball. Played a shot like this yesterday and miscued. No problems today. That is looking absolutely perfect. So this is Barry Hawkins' last hope. Thank you. You could not put that cue ball better with your hand. How quickly this man can just take a frame away from you. Barry probably Fortunately. cannot believe that he's not going to get back to the table in all probability. Forty-seven. Well, he's the wrong side of the blue. Well, he used the cue ball. Oh, he couldn't have picked this cue ball up and put it any better. So, Barry Hawkins started off with a 64 this frame. 58. And it looks like Ronnie O'Sullivan is going to clear up with 67 to pinch it. Well, what a ridiculous clearance that was. Barry Hawkins must have thought he was going to cut his deficit to two. But unfortunately for him, Ron has extended his lead. He now leads five frames to one. How must Barry Hawkins be feeling? Well, Darren, what about that for a clearance? I never thought Ronnie O'Sullivan would be able to clear up again from where he was, but 
especially needing such high value colours. I mean, that was just ridiculous. Well, it was. He could afford to take one blue, which he did. But the clearance was just, you could set them balls up in exactly the same place again and let him have ten attempts at it and he'll do well to clear up once. And that's in practice, never mind out there in the semi-final of a ranking event. Yeah, and you know, so many players go on about, you know, the odd inconsistent bounce and everything and kicks at the wrong time. <laughs> he never seems to suffer with that. His cue ball control in that clearance was absolutely A1. When it had to be because he needed two blacks on the remaining two reds and he got two perfect angles on the reds to be able to screw back for the black. Because those last two reds I think were above the...